All right, now we're in part two of the question with the uh, ball going around in the circle here attached to the rod. Let's uh, put our values up from the previous uh, lesson on this. The force centripetal was solved to be 50.8 newtons. And force of gravity was 19.6 newtons. Now from before, we called the force tension 1 here. And we did break that into x and y coordinates. This would be force tension 1x. This would be force tension 1 in the y direction. And likewise, we'll break this vector into its components. This would be force tension 2 in the y. And this is force tension 2 in the x. Now we did addition of forces in the x and y directions to set up our systems of equations. And let's uh, rewrite those there. So the sum of the forces in the y direction was equal to 0. That equaled force tension 1 in the y direction minus force tension 2 in the y direction minus uh, the force of gravity. The sum of the forces in the x direction equaled force centripetal. And that equaled force tension 1 in the x plus force tension 2 in the x. Okay, now we need to look at our triangle here. Our angle is 44 degrees here. Okay, and that makes our angle 44 degrees here in this location, and likewise for this triangle. So the y side of this triangle is the adjacent side to the angle. So we're going to be using cosine of theta to get our y, and then we'll be using the sine of theta to get our x. We're going to plug numbers into these equations and then use a system in order to solve it. So let's get started here. So for the y equation, we have 0 equals force tension 1 multiplied by the cosine of 44 minus force tension 2 multiplied by the cosine of 44 minus the force of gravity, and that's 19.6. In the x direction, we have force centripetal is the sum of the forces in the x direction. Well, that's 50.8. And that's going to equal force tension 1 times the sine of 44 plus force tension 2 times the sine of 44. Now, we have two equations, and there are two unknowns. And then we'll use a system of equations in order to find that. Okay. Now, plugging in the sine and cosine values here, you can get values that will actually equal a reasonable, reasonably quickly so we can solve it. In doing so, when we solve for this expression here, we want to make sure we solve for either force tension 1 or force tension 2 in order to plug into the bottom equation. I'm going to decide to solve for force tension 1 and that will allow us then to plug into the other, other equation. Okay, so I'll let you, you know, confirm this, but I'm going to then write the equation for me solving for force tension 1 in terms of force tension 2. So force tension 1 is going to equal 22.9 27.3. Okay, so this uh, means our value of force tension 1 is then equal to 50.2 newtons. And the expression down here for uh, this direction, we would have 50.8 is equal to We'll sub in for force tension 1, FT2 plus 27.3 multiplied by 0.695 plus 
point six nine five five two two and uh, force tension two has a value then of twenty two point nine newtons. Now, uh, just a quick explanation of where this comes from. Solving for force tension one in terms of force tension two uh, gave us this expression here. Force tension one is equal to force tension two plus 27.3. And uh, that's what this expression here is. When we found force tension two, uh, that got plugged back into above here to find force tension one. So we actually found force tension two first. 